Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Saga, and I'm currently a software engineer at Accenture in London. And if you're new to programming or software engineering and want to know some of the top languages that you should be learning in 2022, then this is the video just for you. The first language I recommend that you learn is JavaScript mainly because it is super simple to use and also very versatile when it comes to whether you want to build front end or back end because javascript has many frameworks attached to it especially for front end where you can use things like react.js or vue.js and then when it comes to the back end side you can use node.js and basically you can build a whole full-fledged web app just using javascript and when it comes to your job prospects i'd say javascript is a really good skill to have because a lot of companies actually require JavaScript developers since they either use JavaScript on the front end side of things or their back end side of things. The second language I recommend learning is Python. Python is a super simple language to learn and the syntax is also very simple so it's not difficult to understand what you're writing. The use cases for Python vary drastically from writing small automation script to writing machine learning algorithms. And also Python is very prominent in the data science industry as well, which you know what? is where the money money is at. So ultimately Python is a predominantly backend side of language, but you know, you can do quite a number of things with it and the job prospects for Python are also pretty good. Due to the longevity of Python, there are plenty of libraries that exist just for Python from things like OpenCV, which is to do with looking and analyzing at videos or images, to things like pandas, which is all about data science and manipulating big data. The third language I recommend is Go. Go is a relatively new language and it was created by Google. I personally have not used this language yet, but it's something that I do want to try and explore this year. And the benefit of this language is that it is basically used by Google. So if you want to get a job at Google and you know Go, it's gonna be greatly beneficial. The Go programming language doesn't necessarily have a specific niche that it fits into right now. However, it is predominantly used in backend side of things. And a lot of cases it's used to program microservices. But one of the main things with Go is that it is very simple to understand and very simple to actually read and write the code because it's just the syntax is super plain, super simple. So Go is definitely nowhere near mainstream yet, but I'd say it could be an interesting thing to explore, especially if you have ambitions to work for Google. The fourth and final programming language I'm gonna recommend in this video is Java. And Java is a object-oriented programming language that has been around for a very, very long time. It is often one of the languages that you will learn as a computer science student. Well, I didn't do computer science, but this is from what I've heard from computer science students. And this, the reason is because it teaches you a lot of the fundamentals when it comes to programming, since the language Language is a strongly typed programming language which means that you have to define the data type you're going to be using within a specific data structure. Also it is a very different programming language to things like JavaScript and Python because you have to compile the code before it actually executes. Like I said earlier in this video I'm a software engineer for Accenture and in Accenture we basically have a tool where we have to search for the projects we want to work on and so many projects are Java full stack engineers, which suggests that Java is such a popular and in demand skill even today. Also, I've done interviews with Amazon before and in Amazon, they generally require you to conduct your programming interview in a language like Java, C++ or C Sharp. And if you do know Java, it's gonna be very useful when you want to do those interviews because I personally did not know Java when I did those programming interviews and one of the big sticking points is just that the, the language is so different to something like JavaScript or Python that even though you do understand what you're doing, it's very easy to be slowed down because there's there's things you'll have to Google search now and again, which will definitely you know hinder your progression in terms of completing and solving these questions in the interview. So there we have it. That is the top four languages I would recommend you learn if you're new to software engineering in 2022. And hopefully you enjoy your journey on starting as a software engineer. And thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel and also like this video. And before you go, if you want to see what I do as a software engineer at Accenture, definitely click this video over here and that will take you to that video.